Hello, welcome back. I uh, got some tubing, so we're going to try this thing out and see what happens. Flat spot those. It's turning on me. All right, let's see if it works before I spend any more time working on it. That looks like 90 degrees. See what happens when I take it off. A little bit of spring back, but not too bad. Put it just a little bit more. Well, that's relatively successful. Hell yeah, that's perfectly square. Love that. So I looked over everything to make sure that nothing was broken or bending too bad. But this spot right here, my little piece that sticks out for the bolt, is bending. So I'm going to have to cut those out and replace it with a half inch. Okay, after my failure yesterday, I went ahead and made some new parts. And they got them all welded in. So I'm going to see how they go. They shouldn't bend. Alright, this is an inch and a quarter. So let's see if anything breaks. Oh, that's not good. Something's moving. Alright, that. Alright, that ain't working. Alright, attempt number three. Quite a bend in the center right there. I have to make a follower for this. Okay, I made a little bit more modifications. <clears throat> I uh, added these for this to sit on. Instead of just being two bolts, it's now eight. And uh, I added a piece of tubing to this on the bottom. I welded it on so that this could not kick out. And then I still passed the bolt through the whole thing so it can't tip off. Uh, we'll see. Alright, we're going to go for the Gusto. This is an inch and a half. Uh, it's a little bit thicker than 14 gauge, so I really didn't expect this to need as much force as it does. So, the inch and a quarter was a pain. I'm expecting this to be terrible. <laughs> but we're going to find out.
don't know where it's given. It must be this front. Oh yeah, it's a lot of pressure. I have to rebuild my tool rest. Big old dent in this one. I'm uh, definitely gonna have to make a follower because that that ain't gonna cut it. Okay, so my plan for a follower is to use a piece of pipe as a U channel for the tubing to just slide on, and I'm gonna mount it on top of this piece here like that. The whole thing will slide inside. Kind of like that. It'll be a U-shape. It'll be about, about five or six inches long. Hopefully that tubing will just slide along it and not take a big scar on the back. Okay, now that I have some parts all put together, you can see what I'm talking about. It's uh, just going to ride inside of this here. Alright, I made my follower. This is what I came up with. Uh, this is just 3 8 that I made a cradle so this doesn't flare out. And then I just doubled up the pipe. But then that goes in here like this. in there like that and then just draw it through and hopefully that works so I had another failure with my tool rest it took a bend right here because of this bend that tool is never going to sit flat on here and it's just going to continue to rock and this is just not strong enough period um, so I'm going to rebuild a new tool rest out of this half inch 4 by 6 angle iron. Uh, that should be strong enough. Hopefully. Alright, I got my new tool rest put together. Uh, it looks ridiculous. It's a giant and it weighs a ton. But uh, this should be more stable and shouldn't bend. So get this thing chucked in there and see what happens. Now you can kind of see how this is laying in there. Um, it does slide in there pretty good, so I'm hoping this uh, works. We're going to find out right now, I guess. Alright, uh, inch and a half, attempt number four, the follower. pretty close to 90 degrees. I'm going to go just a little bit extra. Right about, right about there. Alright, see what happens. I got a bit of a mush right there. I think that's from overbending. Uh, still not quite all the way around, but 
there's no dent in it, which is great. Now I'll show you what's going on here. I made my dies exactly 90 degrees, and this is 90 degrees. But over bending it made this little bump right here. So I don't plan on doing anything that's a full 90. It's probably going to be 45 or less with this inch and a half material. But the outside looks a lot better. It's at least round now, as opposed to having a big dent in it like that. And the smaller ones, they barely took any damage in comparison. So if I make followers for these two, I'm sure they'll be fine. And this is what I'm going to be building most of my stuff out of, is the inch and a quarter and the one inch. Now, if I need to do 90 degrees with the bigger stuff here, I can buy dies. I made this thing so that the affordable bender dies will fit in it, and I can just buy one of their dies, and then I have it. So I'm going to make the followers for the these smaller ones uh, off camera. You probably don't want to watch that, since the big one mostly worked. I'm sure these are going to work just fine. But this will allow me to finish this damn thing. I'm going to paint and do some other stuff, so get on with that part. does a good job of making sure all the scratches are going the same direction. Alright, see how bad this turned out. Not too terrible. Alright, I'm not going to bother with the other two until I find out whether this works. So, if it doesn't work, I'm just going to grind it back flat and paint it. Just be done with it. Well, it feels like it's cutting in. Hopefully it, uh, doing what I want there. Alright, I guess we're going to find out if it worked or not. That looks pretty rad. I guess I'm doing the other two now. Well, it looks like my, uh, gauge one on there too. Looks pretty good. I'm uh, totally stoked now. Something I did actually worked. It's amazing. That is totally cool. I'm totally doing that with this. some of my other projects. It's like everything showed up on there. Looked like I uh, missed anything. 
Some of them are a little fatter than others, but they're all on there. Sweet. I'm going to take a little bit of black paint and just kind of put it right inside those lines so they stand out. Cool. Okay, let me see if this turned out the way I wanted it to. That looks pretty cool. pretty good. I really like it. Well, they all turned out pretty good. I mean, they're going to get scratched up and really, to be honest, I mean, this is like polishing a turd, but, uh, you know, I thought I'd at least try to make them look good before I ruin them. All right, it's finally done. This uh, took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but uh, it mostly works, and uh, yeah, you'll have to come back and watch me build some projects using this tool. So uh, thanks for watching, and see you later.